my final California governor recall election prediction. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Let's Talk Politics. In this video, I'm going to be basically previewing uh, the uh, California governor recall election uh, taking place on September 14th of 2020, 2021, which is uh, tomorrow, uh, based on the day I'm recording this. I'm recording this on the 13th. And basically, throughout this video, I'm going to basically be giving you guys a little preview on, and I'm going to just explain the big factors taking place in this race. And by the way, this race affects me a lot because I am in California and I'm probably going to stay in this state for a very long time, uh, possibly a decade. And we're also going to be taking a look at the advantages the Democrats have in this race and the advantages Republicans have in this race. For example, that there are more Democrats in California than there are Republicans. So things like that. And obviously, as you, if you've seen by the title, if you, as you read it by the title, I'm going to be predicting. Uh, this is my final prediction on who I think uh, will win between Larry Elder. He is the Republican uh, nominee. Obviously, he uh, won by more than uh, more more than double digits. Uh, he's leading right now by 23 percent to the second placer, which is, I believe, like six percent. So yeah, Larry Elder is pretty much going up against Gavin Newsom. Obviously, uh, say who I think will win between Larry Elder and Gavin Newsom at the end of the video. And I also will give uh, my percentage range on uh, how much uh, Larry Elder or each either candidate is going to win by. But let's start with the advantages for Gavin Newsom. What are Gavin Newsom's advantages? One advantage I just explained earlier is there are more democrats in california than they than there are republicans so democrats there in california there are 10 million total democrats 10 million but there are 5 million total republicans meaning democrat there are more De gavin newsom has twice as many democrats than larry elder has uh, republicans which means democrats do not need to persuade uh, voters to vote for Newsom. They don't need to persuade. That's the that's the easy part for Gavin Newsom and Democrats in California. They don't need to persuade voters to vote for Newsom. All they need to do is get their own Democrats, their own 10 million, to come out and turn out for Newsom. So Democrats uh, need turnout. They need turnout. They have uh, the majority. All they need is turnout. They need the majority of Democrats to vote for Newsom. They just need turnout, which is the easy part, because they don't have to go and persuade independents and Republicans to vote for Newsom. They don't have to persuade. They already have the majority. They just need to get the turnout, which is very easy for Newsom, and that's one huge advantage for Gavin Newsom. Okay, so now another advantage for Gavin Newsom is only one-fourth of Trump supporters, I mentioned this a lot in my recent videos, only one fourth of Trump supporters uh, voted to recall Gavin Newsom. Uh, that's very concerning because only one fourth of Republicans in California or Trump supporters voted to recall Newsom, meaning uh, that's a very low turnout. But it, it's still the number. Uh, uh, it, it's still the, the amount that they needed to have this election in the first place. And a third advantage, a third advantage for Newsom is that Larry Elder needs to persuade independence, which we all know is actually kind of working, which is why, which is what caused the Democrats to freak out in the first place, and which is, which caused Joe Biden, the president, to visit uh, California, and same with Obama, who isn't even supposed to be in politics anymore. There are more Democrats in California than there are Republicans, half twice as money, Larry Elder needs to not only get turnout, turnout won't be enough. There's only 5 million Republicans and 10 million Democrats. They don't, Republicans need turnout, obviously, and they also need, they don't need turnout. The Democrats just only need turnout, that's all. Republicans, Larry Elder needs turnout and needs to persuade independents and Democrats, which we all know some independents have, uh, uh, has, have left uh, Gavin Newsom and betrayed him, uh, and there's a there's a large amount which is very. This is why the this is why everyone is focusing on this race is because of that. And he Larry Elder actually got some Democrats 
to uh, run away from uh, Gavin Newsom as well. Uh, so th this is why we're all talking about this race. And for the advantages for Larry Elder, there aren't that many advantages. The only advantages would be uh, attacking how Gavin Newsom um, handled uh, being governor, how he, how he was on the job. That's the only attacks Larry Elder should make. Uh, you know, how he handled the border, you know, you can make attacks on that. There's no really advantages for Larry Elder. I mean, the Democrats, all they need is turn out. They have more Democrats than Republicans in California. So Larry Elder, the only thing he could do is attack Gavin Newsom on the issues, uh, which he has been doing. He has been attacking him on crime rates. Homicides run up by like, I think 70%, 50%. And, you know, shootings went up by a lot too. So he can attack him on those kind of issues. Same with immigration. You know, he can attack him, attack him with that. Uh, you know, obviously he's been attacking him with his COVID uh, guidelines and school choice. So all Larry Elder needs to do is so these are the thing, three things Larry Elder needs to get to do: get get turnout, not just turnout. Pers persuade and get Democrats and independents, especially independents, to go to your side. Um, the two things, um, and attack. I don't. Know, I forgot if I mentioned this. Attack uh, Gavin Newsom on issues that you think he handled bad. And what Gavin Newsom needs to do is just get turnout. Easy, simple. Just get turnout. You need to have rallies in Democratic counties to get the turnout high. So that way, uh, you can win. That's all Gavin needs. Gavin Newsom needs to do. Uh, so overall, overall, uh, who has a better advantage? Better advantages? Overall, I'm sorry, but Gavin Newsom has better advantages in this race. Okay, so those were all the details for you guys. Now I'm, it's time to make my final prediction on this race. And by the way, if you guys are asking, will I go live? No, I won't go live because I mentioned this so many times. In order to go live, um, we have to complete our channel goals. Uh, and the channel goals, if you don't know what they are, uh, just go just click the link in the description to find out what the goals are. I already explained this. Uh, so, yeah, I won't be going live until uh, 350 subscribers or so, or whatever. Just go check, just go check the goals. So now I won't be going live until uh, we get to those channel goals. Um, so now to my final prediction. Before I say my final prediction, in this premiere, tell me your final prediction. Who do you think uh, will win? Will Gavin Newsom be recalled? Or, and Larry Elder takes office? Or, uh, will uh, Gavin Newsom not be recalled? Let me know. Okay, so my final prediction is, prediction is Gavin Newsom will not be recalled. And... He is going to win this. Uh, uh, he was. He's going to win this recall election just by four percent. Just by four percent, which is pretty much a lean margin, which is very close. And uh, yeah, I just have. I just think they can get the turnout. They. They. I just explained all the advantages. The with with my prediction, the it's very reasonable because of Gavin Newsom's advantages. He has better advantages than Larry Elder does. But Larry Elder has amazing advantages as well, you know, attacking him on his issues and how badly he handled them. But I don't think that's going to be enough. And the reason why, the, the main thing that made me pick Gavin Newsom to win is the 10 million Democrats. They have more Democrats in California. Um, so I think Gavin Newsom will barely, barely, hear me out, barely get to his... Uh, get, barely get the turnout he needs. Just by a barely, uh, he'll barely get the uh, turnout he needs. So I think this race will be extremely close. It's going to be very close, actually. It's going to be, I think the whole race will be close for a while. Um, and Gavin Newsom, at the end of the day, uh, will win by 4%. And keep in mind, this is very good for Larry Elder. I mean, 4% in a solid, and I mean solid, safe, Democratic state and if you get to recall someone in if, if Larry Elder got to recall or if the Republicans got to recall uh, a Democrat in a safe solid Democratic state 
that is very good for them. At least they got to get the amount of voters uh, or signatures enough to recall them. At least, at least they got to re at least they got to have the election in a safe democratic state. Um, and at least he got close, and at least Larry Elder gets close in a democratic state, safe state as well. So Larry Elder, uh, that he, I mean, you know, four percent—that's not bad in a safe democratic state. You got, you got to be honest. Um, don't. So, um, doesn't mean I think Larry Elder. Uh, doesn't mean I think Gavin Newsom won't be recalled. If he does get recalled, guess what? I won't be surprised. I think he very well could get recalled. Um. Um, I won't be surprised if Larry Elder wins. It's not going to be a shock at all. If Gavin Newsom wins, also won't be a shock at well, as well. That's how close it will be. Either candidate wins, I won't be shocked. That's how close it will be. Larry Elder wins, won't be shocked. Gavin Newsom wins, won't be shocked. That's how close it will be. I won't be shocked for any of them. Um, it's going to be very close. But if Larry Elder does win, I do think he's going... It, I think the margin will be 1% for Larry Elder if he does win. He will win by 1% if he does win. But if Gavin Newsom wins, Gavin Newsom will win by 4%. Just a 3% difference. Or 4% difference. That's how close it will be. Let me know your prediction in the comment section down below. Do you agree with picking Gavin Newsom by 4%? Uh, let me know in the comment section. That is all it for this video. I have three more videos to do. I'm about to do three videos right after I get this uploaded, so I have a lot to do today. Stay tuned for those three videos. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously not going to tell you what those videos are, uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Uh, let me know uh, on all the stuff that I covered today. Let me know what you, the parts you agree on with me, what the parts you disagree with me, and overall, how do you think uh, on how I cover this? Goodbye.